what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel right here rocking with snoop baby <laughs> look first of all i need you guys to do me a couple of favors one and this is just some housekeeping items so one if you have not already subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and click that button and do so so when i drop my youtube videos you'll be able to get first dibs on those so that's first and foremost. Secondly, if you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you go do that. My name is Who is Snoop on Instagram. You can check out all of my mentorship programs, all of my courses, and everything that I have to offer, including the National Salon Suites Conference that's coming up. That's right, guys. We got the National Salon Suites Conference October 18th through the 20th right here in Atlanta, Georgia tickets are on sale we're selling early bird tickets right now that's right that's gonna be the cheapest you can get those tickets it's through the early bird sale so make sure that you go ahead and go on over to www.nationalsalonsuitesconference.com you can also check us out on our instagram page at national salon suites conference all right guys look so for today's episode i'm gonna actually give you a tour of one of my locations and so if you've been following me for a while, you actually get to see the transition of these locations from when I first opened them. Uh, this location was actually opened five years ago. <laughs> so we've been open for five years, that's crazy. So um, you get to see when I first opened the location and um, actually what it looks like now, you know? So you get to see what the wear and tear looks like and uh, what are things that you continually have to maintenance while being a salon suite owner. So. We'll start with the tour, and then I want to tell you guys about my inner circle program and my one-on-one -on -one consulting program. So let's go. All right, guys. So we are actually coming into uh, we're coming into the back door, um, and so when you come into the back door, you actually come into our common area. Uh, so most of you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you'll remember that I initially wanted this back area to be just like a regular salon. So I was doing the salons and the salon suite concept and kind of merging those together. Quickly decided <laughs> that I did not want to be a salon owner, that I just wanted to do the suites. Uh, reason being, of course, when you have a salon, you have to put a lot of money into marketing. Um, you still, of course, have to market even with the salon suite business. However, <laughs> you got people that are coming to rent from you. Uh, versus individuals that are coming to get a booth and splitting commission and you're responsible for foot traffic and things of that nature. So all about working smarter, not harder, right? So anyway, so this is our common area back here. This is where we've got our dryers, our sinks. So we've got a couple dryers back here that we're waiting on the back parts for. So we're actually getting these, uh, these two right here fixed. And um, our girl, she's actually, um, so the receptionist, she's on her way here now to do some cleaning. So you guys will just kind of see us in our real raw element. So we try to clean on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And this is one of our busier locations. So um, it's always pretty busy, lots of foot traffic, um, but the cleaning on Friday generally gets us through the weekend until Monday. So now this is our pedicure area right here. We got one of our nail techs working. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, so we got our shampoo bowls right here. One thing, guys, look, <laughs> when you are getting your shampoo bowls, man, I paid so much for these shampoo bowls, but I should not have gotten this gray color. You definitely want to stick with black or something dark where you won't see a lot of dye and blemishes and things of that nature over time. All right, let's go. Same thing with your sink bowls best to always go with black sink bowls this is my very first location so um, I was really about spending the money <laughs> to, to make it look very luxurious um, but you know it's very important for you to be able to get cost-effective things that are gonna last you all right so this is a suite right here that's actually empty um, but it's it's we already have it dressed up and staged and it's perfect for a lash tech or either an esthetician. So you wanna make sure when you have empty suites that you stage them up very nicely. And that as you're doing tours, individuals can come in and they can actually see themselves working in your suite. So this area, I built up this whole area throughout the past couple of years. We didn't really have any suites back here at all. And so we extended this full area to include all of the suites that you guys see. Hey, how you doing? 
And so all four of these back here um, are rented, except for this one. We got this one kind of as a storage suite right now, um, but it's gonna be staged again. Well, we got one of our only barbers right over here. Another nail tech here. And then we've got a stylist right here in this suite. So um, a lot of people like getting these suites back here because they are very, very private. <laughs> All right, let's keep going, guys. So right here, we've got our restroom, ATM on site. So this is for the benefit of our stylist, um, as well as, you know, our vending machine. We've got a vending machine as well that takes cash or card. All right, right there is just our storage closet. Um, so we really don't have like a break room or anything like that. Uh, a lot of individuals are always asking me when they're looking to open up their business or start their salon suite business, you know, uh, should I put a break room? How big should the break room be? You know, for me, I don't personally believe in having a break room because most of the people that rent from you, um, they would prefer to eat in their suite anyway. They're busy. They're trying to fit in as many clients as possible throughout the day. Um, and when it comes to lunch, either they're going to eat something quickly in their suite or they're going to go out and actually have lunch. So um, actually having a break room really just takes up some of your space when you could actually have an additional suite. <laughs> All right, so this is actually one of our largest locations too, guys. Uh, really love these, love this location because we have the industrial look with the ceiling um, that just kind of adds, you know, to that salon suite feel. Vending machine right here. She's got a pretty dope suite in here with all of the lighting. What's your name? Leah. Leah. I like your suite. Thank you. <laughs> Yep, so we got some more single suites right up here. This is where we primarily have a lot of our vacancies. I believe we got eight suites over here and we have about four of them that are empty. Um, and the reason being is we had actually had an issue where the unit right above us, um, they had a leak. And so it was causing moisture to, and condensation to come down on our walls. And the walls started buckling up um, I actually had a dispute with the landlord <laughs> to try to get her to pay for it. She wouldn't pay for it. I had to pay for it. It was a bunch of back and forth. Um, in the meantime, I just went ahead and got them taken care of. And now we have these suites that are available to rent. So if any of you guys are stylists in Atlanta, definitely come holler at us. We've got four double suites. A couple of them are single suites, but they come with your own wash bowl, your own dryer, your station ready to go for you to work so we're going to show a couple of these suites and uh y'all make sure y'all hit us up uh on ig at remedy salon suites if you're looking for a location to work out of All right, so look, so um, definitely want to talk to you guys. So for you individuals that are looking to get into the salon suite business, um, I want to talk to you guys about two different programs that we offer. So most of you guys are familiar with the salon suite master course that I have, which is your A to Z course that's going to tell you um, how to get open, um, what type of location you're looking for, what business licenses you need, how to get those licenses, etc. cetera. Uh, most individuals actually need a little bit more hands-on work to actually get that business open. So I came up with two different programs just for you guys, all right? So if you're looking for something in addition to the course, which you can get the course at salonsuitemastercourse.com, um, if you're looking for something in addition to the course, we've got two different options for you. One, we've got the Inner Circle Program. So the Inner Circle Program, and you can get that information at DillardEntrepreneurUniversity.com. You'll see a link right below that you can click. But anyway, so the Inner Circle Program, it's a $5,000 program, right? But it's valued at $35,000, guys, because this is what the program does for you. One, you're going to get the course. Um, two, you're going to get 
access to our credit repair program. So we're actually going to fix your credit. Uh, we guarantee you a score of at least a 700 or higher. Uh, we'll get all of your derogatories removed off of your account um, as well as your inquiries, okay? So we're going to go ahead and fix your credit that comes within that inner circle program. We're also going to get you help you get business funding. So we've got tons of different members on our team that specialize in business funding. So once we get your credit fixed for you, we're going to show you how it is that you can open up this business without a dime out of your own pocket. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> you can actually open up a salon suite business without even having to spend any of your own money, guys. All right. Um, and then thirdly, you get access to our community. So we meet virtually on a bi-weekly basis. Uh, we've got meetings that are hosted by myself, uh, CPAs, realtors, attorneys, contractors, um, just various individuals in the in industry um, that I feel like our inner circle students can benefit from. Then you're also, you know, in a community with other like-minded individuals that are working on a daily basis to get their business open. So for the most part, those are things that most individuals can benefit from. Benefit from. Uh, we've had over 40 people in our inner circle program and I would say about 65% of them have opened up their business to this, to this day. So those are definitely great success numbers. So if you're interested in joining the Inner Circle program, that's one of our ways to fast track you to success. Just head on over to DillardEntrepreneurUniversity.com for more information on that program, all right? Then we've also got my one-on-one -on -one consulting program. So with the one-on-one -on -one consulting program, you're gonna get all of those things in the inner circle program but i'm actually going to be helping you on a one-on-one -on -one basis so the difference between that program and the inner circle program the inner circle individuals i actually don't get on the phone with them one-on-one -on -one. i don't fly to them i don't um, necessarily go and, and go riding around with them and their realtor helping them pick out locations uh, but this is what i do when it comes to the one-on-one -on -one consulting program i'm literally there with you helping guide you every single step of the way um, I'm a part of the uh, site selection. I'm a part of helping you get your licenses, helping you pick out your contractor, working with your contractor, um, and then also helping you market and promote and fill your suite. So um, look, <laughs> if you want me, you can't get enough of these videos and you need that one-on-one -on -one help, make sure you guys email me at helpgrowmybusiness at gmail.com and we can set up a call and talk more about that consulting one-on-one -on -one consulting program. So look guys, so it's not just the course that we've offered. We actually have three different programs that will help you, two of them that will fast track your way to success. So go ahead and head on over to salonsweetmastercourse.com and check out all of the options that we have available for you. You've got to get your business open in 2024.